Ahoy and welcome. I am Lee, the pirate tester, and today I am joined by Beth Marshall, who is no relation, just a common surname. Yes, no one's ever pointed out, asked the question, are you and I related? And I think more people should, because I, I certainly feel the need to clarify it. But but no, no relation, right? I mean, not, not as far as we know. I haven't done an Ancestry.com to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should. Da, da, da. Wouldn't that be awesome? Secret, secretly long, long lost third cousins. <laughs> it would, it would just reinforce how small the testing community really is. They're like, <laughs> you related? So uh, right. Apparently so. <laughs> So, so Beth, what what do you do? Because I I know you're you do you're involved with testing, but even I can't say yes, this is what Beth does. So, so tell me and the listeners, what do you do? Oh wow, okay. Um, so I my current job title is senior test engineer. Um, so I work for a safety tech company who are awesome called Smoothwall, and we kind of keep kids safe online while they're at school that's kind of our, our general mission um so i help with that by working with our um, product teams and core architecture teams to um help improve what we have and you know work definitely work as part part of that uh engineering engineering team space to help get in get involved and give my two penny thin at, at some of those early meetings um yeah, but before before working here, I contracted for a number of years for a, a lot of different companies. And then before that, I worked uh, for eight years for an amazing consultancy called BGSS, where I worked for um, at one time, I think I worked on what was considered to be the world's largest big data project. Um, I didn't work on that particularly long, but um and then I worked on foreign exchange trading platforms and all kinds of weird and wonderful exciting things so yeah very a very varied history but my my um day-to-day -day tasks are definitely I, li I like being at the coal face i like um exploratory testing and executing tests and having a handle on what our customers think and all that good stuff so yeah i do i do lots of things and love them all all all, all sorts of areas that i didn't know about and you just feel like hmm. So have you have you always been in tech or did you have a life before technology? Oh, I, I, tell me a tester. Show me a tester that didn't have a life before, <laughs> <laughs> before testing. Um, so so I'm someone that came from a kind of pretty. Oh, how do I phrase this? Um, so the area that I grew up in wasn't necessarily the best. And uh, kind of a small East Coast town. And my only goal, my only ambition, and still to this day, the only real ambition I've ever had um, was to to get out of that that town by going to university. Um, and I, I did that. I went to study law um, and criminology in Sheffield. And I graduated from that in 2005. Um, so I, I knew when I started my degree, I, d I don't want a career in law. I did a few. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's one of those things where the, the priority for me was getting a degree and getting a degree from someone told me getting one from a red brick university. People will be more swayed by that. Apparently, that's a good thing to some people. I think it's all arbitrary now. But um, yeah, getting a good sounding degree from a, a good university and then have a think about what comes next. So, um, yeah, I was working as a as a project coordinator, kind of looking at spreadsheets and fell into working for a what happened to be a very up and coming uh, software consultancy. Knew absolutely nothing about testing and was asked to review um, copious amounts of scripts that um, they needed someone with a good grasp of of grammar to, to rewrite some of these scripts and then. Before you know it, I start asking questions about the software that these scripts are, are, are talking about. And uh, and then I keep saying yes to opportunities. And and here I am 13 years 
13 years of testing later. And I just think it's a, it's an awesome industry and an awesome career. I love it. And to me, it's, it's a it's a career that a lot of the people on the outside, they, they don't really know we exist. But once we're in it, we're like, oh, wow, there's so much involved with this. And like, yeah, we really need to have a better PR team within the world of testing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's mad. When I, when I think of some of the other jobs that I had before um, and what I would have given to, to have a job like I've got now, you know, when I was straightening fish fingers for eight hours a day in a, in a frozen fish factory <laughs> or when I was a, a dinner lady at a university halls of residence. Um, yeah, I would have definitely I, I think more people should know about avenues like this for sure, because it's it is like you say, it's so varied. I know you're um, you love your sequel and, you know, you not you don't have to be you're not interested in being a a developer kind of tester and, and knowing everything about the code and you don't have to not all testers have to follow the same path at all and i think that richness and that variety is what keeps people in the industry for a long time i don't know many testers that kind of i know they make some career transitions with within tech but i don't know many that are like teachers where they do it for a few years and then they get so burnt out and they absolutely detest it and then they do something, they completely pivot and do something different. Testing kind of sucks you in, I think. It sucks you in and it, mm. it grabs you and it, and you can explore so many opportunities, particularly nowadays when, when more and more companies are embracing sort of fully remote roles and things. It's, um, yeah, the opportunities to, to have a brilliant work life balance are sort of unparalleled, I think. Do you, what do you reckon? Oh, but. Very much so. It's mainly when you were just talking about um, like testers getting burned out and moving on to new things. A colleague of mine who came in as an apprentice to my organization um, previously was a maths teacher in at secondary wow. school level and has now moved into uh, testing and learning SQL and like doing database testing and that kind of stuff, which just shows perfect example of how yeah. people come into it from all sorts of roles and I doubt at any Very point she was true. like, what do you want to do? Well, I want to go from being a math teacher to testing software. Yeah. It's less of a, a path and more of a very squiggly line that people follow. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Indeed, my mum was a teacher um, for many, many, many years. And uh, she put me off teaching for life with with some of the stories that she told me. So I, I love the the chance to train other people and, and coach and, and that side of things. That's brilliant. You get opportunities to do that in this role if that's what you choose to do. And, you know, it's a role that you don't have to go into management, but you can and you don't have to, you know, there, there's so many things you can turn down or things you can embrace. It's, um yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I mean, I, I would try to close with what advice you have for people, but the fact that you've reinforced the people it isn't, a singular path in testing there's such a range of things that people can do within it do you want to be a manager no okay there's other things you can do that's not the only way to progress absolutely keep your options open be willing to say yes to new opportunities and um yeah the world's really your oyster so embrace it would be my advice wonderful well Thanks for coming on and chatting with me today, Beth. We'll have to sort out an ancestry.com thing. And thanks very much, <laughs> everyone.